This is Dr. Karen Howell, agricultural engineer. Even the water facilities aren't safe anymore. And the creature I saw down there was huge. And the poor souls I met there are surely dead by now. As is almost everyone else. I haven't found a single living survivor since I've left hydroponics. And what I've seen of the creatures indicates they have an ecology, a culture. They hunt in packs. They harvest their prey. They're not monsters. They're animals. Deadly animals. There is nothing to do but run. I'm going to take a tram to the shuttle bay. Maybe I'll find some other survivors there. But I doubt it. I'm seeing things. God help me.
Somebody respond! For God's sake, think rationally. We have to stop it. We have to make it all. Let's fix you up. My head. I think I need to lie behind. It would be better if you stayed awake. Can you do that for me? Now, let's take a look at you. I'm going to work up an antibiotic that'll give your system a kick start and clear your head. There. Now, what's your name? How did you get here? I'm Lexine. I came here from the colony. With some friends. But we got split up in the water tunnels. Dear God, I saw them! They're here? Where? Lexine, I'm sorry. They were attacked. I don't think they survived. What? No! You don't know, Ned. He wouldn't let them die. We have to go back to the tunnels and find them. All right, if that's what you want. But then we have to look for a way off the ship, okay? Okay, let's go.
It's dead. You did it. My God. Come on. We must get out of here. Quickly, this way. Where are you going? The water tunnels are we'll this way. We'll be crawling with those things. I'm sorry, but your friends are dead. There's no way they could survive down there, and neither can we. We must get to the tram station. What were you and your friends doing on board the Ishimura? I thought there was a no-fly order. Don't you know? This is all happening in the colony too. Oh dear.
Lexine! Weller! Eckhart! Nate! Lexine! Thank God! I told you they were still alive. We're alive. No thanks to you, Doctor. That's enough, Eckhart. You'd have run too if you had the chance. I'm happy we didn't lose you. Thanks to Dr. Hoyle. She saved my life. A cop, a grunt, and a suit. Quite the team. Don't get me started. What are you doing there? Trying to trap those creatures in the water tunnels. But I can't work out how to shut down the water flow systems. Then allow me. Hydroponics is my domain, remember? Great. Get on it. Is he in charge? He likes to think so. We were headed for the tram station. To get to the shuttle bay. Funny. So were we. McNeil with me. We can scout the route while the dock does her thing. I'm coming too. Sure. Eckhart, stay here and keep the dock safe. Of course. You take good care of her, okay? If it weren't for Dr. Hoyle, I wouldn't be here. I'm not a miracle worker, dear. Your injuries still need time to heal. Take care of yourself. Lexine said you were an executive. She didn't say your name was Eckhart. Warren Eckhart, isn't it? That's right. Executive Director... Of Colonial Mining Operations. I know. You transferred to the Ishimura just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Worst bloody career move in my life. Nice to know my reputation precedes me. Sure it does. You're the one who switched all the personnel after they found the marker. One day, I had an assistant who'd been with me three years. The next, I found myself working with a grad student who spent her lunch hour praying to the marker. Staff rotation is standard policy, Doctor. Resource distribution is my responsibility. And what about seeding unitologists into every corner of the ship? Is that your responsibility too? I fail to see what difference someone's faith makes, Doctor. Look around, you stupid marker head. This awful mess is what difference it makes. If you think it doesn't... No, Doctor! My God has very different plans! Thank you.